this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. Um, today I am going to fix a Boston butt. This is eight point eight pounds point six nine ounces or whatever. So, and what I'm doing is I'm going to cook this in my crock pot. Um, I'm got a certain way that I'm going to do it and I always like to get that trim that the big things of fat off of it or whatever and I'm getting as much as I can off with this knife but I really don't have a knife that is sharp enough <laughs> I've got my more expensive knives but they're still not sharp enough to get this fat off this and I just don't like cooking it with it or whatever and also I'm gonna get this off and then I'm gonna put some spices and all in it and I'm gonna put it in the crock pot and I'll bring you back when I get to that point okay I'm back all right so this is what I'm going to put on it I've got it turned upside down because I'm gonna put all the the um, spices and all on it and then I'm gonna flip it because I want that fatty side up so that the um, fat and I will go through the pork and these are the spices that I'm going to use um, you can use whatever you want. These are the ones that I'm using. I've got Pit Boss Hickory Bacon. I've got Sasson. You can see that. I've got Applewood Rub. This is Grillmates Applewood Rub. And then I've got Weber Steak and Chop. And then, of course, Salt and Pepper. And this is just regular table salt. This is Morton iodized um, salt. And I'm just going to put this all in it, over it. And the pepper. And this is coarse ground black pepper. And I like a lot of pepper, which I'll put some on the top too. But I'm going to put this on the bottom and then sit this side down um, into the crock pot. All right, and then the, well, let me get it open here. This is the hickory bacon, pit boss hickory bacon, and I'm just going to put some of this on there and rub it on. Well, you can smell that hickory in here. All right, and then the Sasson. Let me get that. All right, rub this on. Then the applewood rub, pour this on, rub it on the bottom of it. Like I said, I'm going to turn this over, so now we're just going to put it all on the bottom. And then the Weber steak and chop. And then I'm going to put it in my pot right here, and I'll bring you back, and we'll do the, the other side. Okay, I'm back. All right, I've got it turned over. This is the fat side, and I've put all of the same spices on the top. And I am using, I don't know if you can see this or not, I am using organic apple cider vinegar because I want um, this, I'm going to pull it, and... I like Carolina barbecue. So I'm going to put, I've got like a 16 ounce cup here and I'm going to put, um, let me see, about half of the cup. 
cups, so it'd be about no, yeah, about half a cup. So it'll be about eight ounces. I'm going to put about a cup in here. And I've got this on high for the first hour. Um, and this, I'm going to put this apple cider vinegar around it. I don't want to get it on the top. So I'm going to put it around it. And you know, it's going to steam up. It's going to get hot and it's going to steam up and it's going to go into the flavoring of the pork butt. And so I'm going to do that. After the hour, I'm going to put it on low for seven hours. And I'm just going to let this cook. Um, it's going to be tonight before it gets done, but that's okay. I'll have it for tomorrow, and um, I'm going to fix coleslaw and the uh, barbecue. I'm going to make pulled pork barbecue out of this, and so I will bring you back when this gets done, and we'll go from there. Good morning. This has... Um, been a long night <laughs> all right so here is the juice left from the pulled pork and here's the pulled pork i've got it all on this on this pan and i'm letting it cool off and while i'm doing that i've got my crock pot on high what happened was at 10 o'clock last night my the pork roast was not done my crock pot doesn't do good on low i usually always have to cook things on high until it's almost done and then cut it down on low and i didn't do that i let it cook yesterday all day on low and it didn't really cook so at 10 o'clock last night i had to bump it up to high for um i think it was three and a half hours and so then when that was almost done, I put it on low and I just let it cook all night like that. And now it's totally done. I'm going to pull this, but I'm going to make a barbecue sauce out of this. Um, so what I'm going to do is with all this, these drippings or whatever, I'm going to make like a Carolina barbecue sauce. This is vinegar. It's got a lot of vinegar in it. So I'm putting like three tablespoons of brown sugar in here. All right. There's two. And here's three. I wanted to make my own barbecue um, for this and I'm gonna save some of it to put on the barbecue and then I'm going to pull this and put it back in here all right so I've got that now I'm going to put in the same amount of ketchup I'm going to put in three tablespoons of ketchup Whoa, if I can do this, I don't have the strength in my hands anymore to do this. So I'm just going to go on and let me, y'all can't see me. Well, let me fix this so you can. All right, I'm just going to go on and put three tablespoons of ketchup in here. I hope it doesn't get on the pan and it did. All right. One, two, and this is going to be really thin, but by the time I get this pork pulled, and now it'll be thicker. All right, so there's three tablespoons of ketchup, and I'm just gonna stir this up. Like I said, this is on high. And while I'm pulling this pork, I'm just gonna let this sit here and make sure that it's already hot. The brown sugar's already melted. 
And now I can feel it in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse the spoon off in here and then I'm gonna taste it and see what it tastes like. Oh, that is going to be so good. Oh my gosh, that is, mm, that's going to be amazing. All right, so I'm going to pour pull this pork. I'm going to fill this cup up with the barbecue sauce and then I'm going to put the pulled pork back in here. And I'll bring you back and show you. I got to tell you. <laughs> This, I don't even have this in the barbecue sauce yet, and I've tasted it, and it is amazing. It's got that tangy taste from the um, vinegar. Oh, gosh, it's going to be so good. All right, I just wanted to bring you back and let you know this is going to be amazing. So I'll bring you back later. I'm going to pull this now, put it back in the crock pot. Let it sit on low for a couple hours, and then we're going to have a barbecue. So, I'll talk to you later. Okay, I'm back. I'm just going to go on and end the video here. You can see that um, here is all the, the beef in here. There was barely any fat. Um, I'll show you here. There's the fat right there, and there's the bone. And if you hear the dog squealing and yelping, it's the woman upstairs. I guess she's left the dog alone in the... Oh, my God. It's just a puppy, and it's driving me crazy. Oh. Anyway, here is the pulled pork. This is enough to feed the farm hands down at the farm. And I've got... I'm going to taste it on bread for you. I've fixed me a little sandwich here mm. oh my gosh mm. yes this would be better with coleslaw but mm, it is delicious oh and I got it I let it I pushed it down in here and got some of that sauce on it. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. This is amazing. Let me wipe my mouth off. Mm. If you've never done this, mm, fix this in your crock pot. Use the, you can use whatever spices you want, but I'm telling you what, that hickory bacon, the pit boss, Walmart did have it. I'm not sure if they still have it or not. That's where I got it. It's called pit boss hickory bacon. That is amazing on here. And using that vinegar and the ketchup and the brown sugar to make the sauce has given it that sweet, tangy taste. Oh, it's delicious. All right. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also take a look below to, for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and also to different things that you may want to use in your kitchen that I use in mine, and you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.